Hello and welcome to an unnumbered secret episode of Terrible Book Club. This is Terrible it's Film Club. It's a conspiracy that we hid from you. <laughs> it is. Terrible Film Club is a conspiracy. A lot of people don't think it exists. If you found this, enter the secret code into your uh, mailbox and send it to a P.O. box numbered 666 in zip code 42069 <laughs> and you will receive fucking nothing in return because you found us. Yes. Uh, welcome. This is a random fun episode of, I guess, Terrible Film Club. Uh, typically, we'll watch movies on the Patreon for just patrons, but we actually had a patron request for their uh, their selection for the year for us to watch this movie instead of read a book. So we figured we'd just share it with you all in the spirit of the season. So this is a patron's choice, terrible film club. Uh, we will be watching The Plot Against the President today at the request of our patron, Martin. So thank you, Martin, for supporting the show. And uh, we hope you enjoy this. We hope you all enjoy watching The Plot Against the President with us. And I will say, uh, we were a little wary of this, but, you know, Terriblo really came through. We, we, we were concerned you about know, having to pay for this, but uh, we found just the full movie on YouTube for free. So thank, praise Terriblo, praise Terriblo. Yeah, I don't know how many people I want to thank for having to watch this, but... <laughs> well, I think, I think personally, it's delightful that we get to watch something instead of read a whole ass book for a patron, so... <laughs> I'm pretty stoked. Ugh. I yeah um okay I guess when you put it that way it dulls the pain somewhat. <laughs> Chris hates conspiracy movies, uh, so that's why he is a lot less excited than I am. I I do not like do not enjoy. But let's see where we end up here, Paris. All are, right, are you ready? all right, folks. So um, since many of you listening to the to this are are not patrons of the Terrible Book Club yet. Um, what we will do is we will say three, two, one, play, and you will hit play when we say play, and that will start the film, and then our audio will be, you know, our commentary will be synced up with your movie. Uh, for reference, we'll put the link that uh, we'll put the link that we're using in the show notes for today. It, <laughs> the link on YouTube, it's from the channel. I wokeness news. I oh, some e -E. legitimate trusted media source yes. I can see. Uh, but this this is a real movie. Um, it was, I believe, directed by Amanda Milius, who is the daughter of the director of uh, uh, Apocalypse Now, um, Red Dawn, and a few other kind of um, hoorah conservative American classic films. So. We'll see if her talent lives up to her uh, her familial talent there. Anyway. All right, are uh, you ready, Paris? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, oh, I, hope, I hope all of y'all are ready out there. Happy holidays. Enjoy the plot against the president with us. All right. Three, two, two one. one. Play. Misery. Woman production. I, for a second, I thought that was related somewhat to Jacob Wool, notorious <laughs> coffee shop overhearer of liberals, apparently, at least according to his Twitter. Ooh, it's the Capitol. What a beautiful evening in the Capitol, Chris. <gasps> Watch, did you see us upside down? Oh, They're we're already, already getting... already blowing our minds! The, the allegory is thick. <laughs> you know, that's a nice... Is that a rain sound? I don't know what that was, actually. I think that might have just been... Oh, thunderstorm! You know, oh, it's, it's a storm in the capital. filmography, cinematography, whatever you want to call that. Paris, what is there anything you could put over this music and it wouldn't be haunting or ominous? Yeah, there's plenty of stuff you could put over the over these images that isn't haunting. <laughs> of course. I don't know, man. Like that, That's the power of scoring things, right? Yeah. Like, you, you change the music, you can manipulate any emotion that you want. Oh, yeah. This music is clearly supposed to be um, apprehensive, kind of creepy, definitely something, you know, you know it, it uh, conjures negative emotions in the viewer. Uh, so, Have I done my music is magic spells rant lately on the podcast at all? I, I know I've done I that before. I don't think we've done music is magic in a while. 
Yeah, well, music is a series of vibrations and sounds that causes people's emotions to be changed without having to do anything to them or touch them. It's a magic spell, Paris, right? That's what a magic spell is. is. Um, do you find it hilarious? That's that this my whole... conspiracy. I, you know, I, I'm way more on board with music is magic than uh, with fucking Devin Nunez being the American hero or something. Oh, yeah. Mm. And speaking of, here he is. It's almost like we tried to watch this before and something went wrong. <laughs> yeah, this this is uh, this is take two for a terrible film club. Is it funny to you that this whole beginning is about the transition, not the transition going well and smoothly, and how funny that is in light of recent news? <laughs> I mean, as we've seen in the past four years, it's all about accusing the other person of what you're doing, right? Yeah. No, you I also is, love... the, is the Trump method. <laughs> I also love this explanation. He's like, oh, my God, the secrets are or the FBI investigated people and they investigated things that weren't involved in the investigation. It's like, yeah, man, that's what the FBI does, dude. They're going to know the names of your fucking Pokemon. Like, if you're under investigation, they're going to know shit about you. And that's just how it goes. They know about my all furry team. Of... <laughs> and I'm not saying it's great. It's all but... Ralts. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying that's like a great practice, but that's just kind of how it is. So it's really funny that Devin Nunez is like, whoa. You know, I'm sure a whoa. lot of this conspiracy fodder comes from the fact that of people not understanding how things have worked yeah. for yeah, quite some course. time yeah. and finding out about certain mechanisms or just not having them ex being explained to them for the first time. Mm hmm. That doesn't mean it didn't happen. <laughs> to to be fair, with like honestly, with the Russia stuff, mostly according to the Mueller report, it seemed like what they did is influence people through social media. Yeah, which is a gray area legally for sure. But I'm I would have expected them to have been doing that already. Oh, I mean, of course it, it was expected, but. It's a question of how in on it the Trump campaign was, right? Yeah. It's, I mean, I think you've pointed out before, it seems like a lot of Trump operatives were, like, too stupid to really provide anything useful to Russia, which is absurd. I do agree that... The backlash from the Obama administration was pretty lame. They're like, we're going to kick some people out. And, <laughs> I don't know. That's not a, not a very steep price for perhaps swinging the entire populace's opinion of the election and changing it. On the other hand, Paris, if is it a little bit our fault for having such an easily duped population? Oh, it is absolutely a lot our fault for having... An easily duped population, also a fucking terrible election system. It it was a it was a real investigation with real information and the information was published. <laughs> And if you were on the committee, you would have seen a lot of it after the after it was done. You see, Devin Nunez, when a special investigator is doing a special investigation, they don't just lay all the evidence out during the investigation. You have to wait until it is over. <laughs> That's hilarious in context. Really? Wow, Comey made up crimes. Don't you think don't you think he would be in prison?
uh, Mar- Martha S- and Martha Stewart. These people did living- crimes. Yeah, these people committed crimes. <laughs> they- he also committed a crime. <laughs> Again, this is, I think when it's easy to crimes. dupe people with this information when I, I think there's a lot of people out there that if it's not stealing, murder, sexual assault or something like that, they can't perceive it as a true crime or like drug trafficking. Yeah, or you know, yeah, If it's like a white collar stock market insider trading thing oh, or like lied. election interference. Yeah, it's like, that's still a crime, dude. I believe the uh, scoring here hasn't let up since minute one no, here, Paris. No, we've, we've been riding that, that train. I have to be curious if there is not a moment of <laughs> magic spelling happening here. What? You have to act on all intelligence immediately. Immediately. You don't you don't have to pass it by anyone. There's no such thing as a long game. <laughs> no. That's why you know, do you remember the wire when they always went in and immediately busted all of the drug traffickers <laughs> right away? Yeah, you know how we just like use missiles on everyone right away without actually checking anything? Actually, we do sometimes do that. I should take that back. <laughs> America's not great. Oh, that's a nice freeze frame. <laughs> Trump is never making that mouth shape, though. I, like, every picture of him, he's doing that mouth. I have never made that mouth shape in my entire life. Why do you have to make that mouth shape? <laughs> I keep hoping you're going to look at me on the camera. I've been looking, Paris. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the mouth shape at Christmas. Why do they just have a camera pointed at a laptop? (laughs) They didn't know how to rip the actual (laughs) video to anything. (laughs) Sorry, we can only take an image of KT McFarlane on a laptop. We didn't know Maybe because the audio screen. quality was so bad, they didn't want to like put it up as a regular video, or you know, they had to let you know it was a Zoom meeting. No. Right, this is the guy who wrote the book that this uh, documentary is based on, Lee Smith. Oh, are we talking about accountability? Oh, that's fun. Mmm. Are we ever going to go more than a minute in this documentary without a burn? <laughs> Hey, look, we're still talking about fucking Benghazi. Oh, yeah. Who is Benghazi, Paris? (laughs) Who is he? We've been trying to find out for how long now? Oh, yeah, I'm going to, of course, just believe this. (laughs) Yes. I believe this testimony of random guy. and Just because you told me he is a former national security person. You know who you know who Benghazi was? It's the guy Hillary Clinton was fucking to get back at Bill. That's who he was. <laughs> we all know it. Do you think that these shadow figures are actually just other people that appeared previously in the documentary, but they wanted to make it seem like they had like some secret uh, contacts? Because these these outlines kind of look like other people that we've seen already <laughs> earlier in the documentary. I think I think it's just the same people. Yeah, we, we just have to play <laughs> who's that Pokemon, but for conspiracy <laughs> people. For 
first of all, America is always supporting terrorists somewhere. Every administration yeah, fucking supports this, terrorists. So like, this is not this unique is not, to anyone. Yeah, this is. It's not good. Again, many of these things aren't good. But like we've said before, it sounds worse. Sounds so much worse when you don't understand what is. Or standard you've never procedure. heard it before. Yeah, in America, like. How do you think the Taliban came to power? Good old USA, Nicaragua, USA, <laughs> are just involved in every coup. <laughs> oh. How many jowls are in this room, Paris? Ooh, count the jowls. <laughs> One jowl, <laughs> two jowl. No, I'm not. I gonna think you can just go by jowls. twos here. You, I don't ever think jowls come in one. I'm not gonna make fun of people for jowls, man. Why are we talking about ISIS? This is set up for how Flynn was done wrong. Wait, we we like Michael Flynn now? What? How was he the most dangerous to the swamp? Again. <laughs> This is kind of normal. It sucks, but it's normal. <clears throat> it's gonna make sure we get those kids in frame. They're just walking in and kicking people in the shins <laughs> yeah. every day in the yeah, White House. The fucking next headline on Breitbart tomorrow. Obama kicked people. <laughs> he kicked them. I think he wanted to say kick out, but it just sounds like, he, well, he, he was just walking in there and kicking people. Yeah. Also, every, almost all of these news clips have been Fox or, I think there was, there were a few at the beginning that were like CNN or something, but only when they were showing Democrats. Who was that that was speaking? Somebody from the I don't, actually don't know. I they didn't. That was the embassy that it was labeling in frame, but it didn't say who that was. <laughs> Just the ghost of a America, voice. Uncle <laughs> yeah. Sam. All voiceovers attributed to Uncle Sam. Yeah. Talking about foreign policy is one thing. Mm. Yeah, really conflating yeah. talking about foreign policy with um, election away. interference yeah. or <laughs> like, or it, minimally at least coordinating social media efforts to sway the opinions of people with their votes. That's well, not think, a foreign I don't policy think briefing. Was involved with that part of it though. They aren't. They that's two separate things yeah, that they're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I was about. gonna say it's not 
He had a perfect phone call. Oh, the perfect phone oh, call. Here, we, here go. we go. Here we go. Perfect phone call. I'm pretty sure we had several perfect phone calls involved with the Mueller report. Uh, by the way, we both read the Mueller report, all the footnotes, the whole fucking thing, and did an episode on it. So <laughs> if you'd like information on that, listen to that episode. <clears throat> Also, like, okay, but he uh, wasn't speaking with like Russia's like diplomat. I mean, Kislyak, sure, but the other people that the Trump campaign had meetings with were not official Russian government. They yeah, they weren't government officials. Like, oh, also, just an update. So while they're talking about how much of a fucking patriot he is, Michael Flynn recently, um, has said that Trump should use the military. To rerun the election. A real patriot there. Yeah, the president should use military might to overturn the will of the people to stay in power. American hero, Michael Flynn. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. He said Remember, that, but it can then... only be bad if you're meeting someone in a park after dark like it's a movie or something, Paris. There's no <laughs> impropriety at all no. if you just pick up the phone. If you do crimes in the daylight where people can see you, it's not a crime. <laughs> it's not a crime. It doesn't count. It's no longer a crime. Um, I, will, I will amend my statement. So Flynn put forth these ideas, but then he said, I'm not calling for martial law. We have a constitutional process, and that has to be followed. After he earlier this month called for martial law so maybe he realized that doing that was not a good plan uh. yeah again the 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 once again we're is... conflating speaking with official government officials in a official capacity about foreign policy with speaking with operatives that are working social media yeah, to and, change opinions. Uh, well, and also, and not even just social, like, operatives like that, but random assholes, like, just getting yeah. <laughs> just getting one-on-one -on -one time with, like, a national security director is, uh, yeah, not normal? Wow. Putin really laying it on. Ah, oh, uh, Rudy! <laughs> a paragon of intelligence and well-oiled <laughs> yeah. plans. And... Ah, yes. Trump comments I'll just take your word nothing. that they meant nothing, Rudy. They mean nothing all the time. What are the, like, these subtitles? Why am I supposed to take that as fast? As... <laughs> yeah. No one would impeach... No. No one... No. No. That's not... Mm -mm. What are you even saying? What was that sentence? Also, who is this man? <laughs> it said earlier that he is some oh. kind of former, former foreign policy and historian person, a doctor of some kind. Oh, okay. Sorry.
Excuse me? Band of thugs? Wait, what trick? He sends people like he sent people to interview White House officials without going through the normal process that was established oh. before. <sighs> Uh, a recurring character. <laughs> oh, yes. I, I don't think it's an ambush when you're like, oh, this person works for the FBI and I'm interviewing with them. That usually says, hmm, I should be careful. <laughs> Unless they showed up in, like, civilian clothes and didn't tell you they were with the FBI. Okay, my theory is that guy is the same guy we saw earlier talking about how Martha Stewart didn't commit crimes. <laughs> That's my theory. <clears throat> Who's I think that, that conspiramon? And I think that might be Devin Nunez. The music has not stopped. I don't no. think it has stopped the entire time. It has not. <clears throat> oh, John Eisenberg is one of the creators of this. Right? It was him and Amanda Milius, I think, at the beginning. The fateful Flynn interview. Lock bag. How do we know Why that? Why am I supposed happened? to believe this shadow know? person's <laughs> testimony? <laughs> yeah. Do you remember anything about McCabe being in the Mueller report? That was such a long time ago. And so remember. many Trumpy things have happened since then, Paris. Yeah, that's the true. Look, dude, journalists get their hands on shit all the time. Like, that's just that's how that goes, unfortunately. Summoned by Mike Pence. What a phrase. <laughs> Imagine Pence sitting on a throne no. of horses going, <laughs> bring me Flynn. <laughs> What's going to happen to Pence once he's no longer vice president? Do you think he's just going to, like, burrow away somewhere in, like, the cornfields of Iowa or something? Indiana, probably. Yeah. Hey, remember Steve Bannon? Isn't he about to go to prison for all <laughs> that for all that lying to people to get money for? A no, yacht? you see, he he was entrapped into those non crimes. <laughs> the non crime of because it's not murder or stealing directly, so therefore it can't be a real crime. He did it out in the daylight, Paris. 
He even told people he was lying to them to get a yacht. <laughs> he did. Yeah, where are we on Bannon going to prison? Well, let's see. What's going on with him? They just can't shut up about fucking Michael Flynn and McCabe, so... Ooh, update on Bannon. So not only is he is he getting prosecuted for stealing money from pe from people for a yacht on the, under the premise of building more wall, um, but the FTC wants to ha force him to testify during uh, for the Cambridge Analytica trial. I mean, he got forced to resign because Trump was like, will you guarantee that you won't investigate me? And he was like, no. And then Trump fired him. <laughs> like, that was, wasn't that what happened? Because he was he wouldn't swear fealty to Trump over dinner. That was Comey, not Oh, Flynn. that was Comey. Oh, God. Sorry, I, I get all my Trump firings confused. Like, do you think that any security organization isn't keeping tabs on the president and everyone that fucking works in the White House? Like, why wouldn't they? Because the president's supposed to be the king that everybody follows, Paris. But he's not. The president <laughs> was specifically made to not be a king by the founders of the fucking Constitution. Yeah, a lot of this is unverifiable because we have these, like, shadow conservative Pokemon, you know, or whatever. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, unmasking log. It's, like, big. It's a little bit like mahogany in composition, <laughs> but. Are, are unmasking logs real? This is my question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type that into Google. This was apparently just um, left on this person's desk mysteriously. Unmasking log. Wait a minute. I thought all you conservatives were anti-mask. What's up with this, Baroness? Oh, interesting. When I search that, all I get are uh, news articles from RT, uh, libertyunyielding.com. <laughs> Some really uh, yeah. verifiable and trustworthy sources. Yes, there. very real news sites. Very real. I mean, R RT is a real news thing, but just very obviously. I mean, but R yeah, RT is very obviously. Basically uh, advancing um, anything that helps Russian foreign policy. Correct. To be clear, not that American news orgs <laughs> are immune from this, because by golly, they are not. But Yeah, true. Okay, so oh, most of the juicy so details in this have been from these shadow Pokemon here, Paris. Like, Well, and I'm also trying to figure out what the... What's the problem we're even focusing on here? Michael Flynn was unfairly accused of a fake crime and was railroaded by the FBI that was still loyal to Obama, who was investigating the Trump campaign unfairly. Thank you. Um, I mean, the Trump campaign investigation was pretty sound. I, I mean, I think that they made sense that they would look into it, given the connections they were finding between Trump associates and Russians, while Russia was, you know, uh, 
changing people's minds via social via fake social media shit and like Maybe. you know what hacking into I'm, voting systems like i might know? have a problem with the phrase change their minds that we've been using here actually now that i'm thinking about it it could just be exacerbating already you know held opinions i mean it was a little of both i think yeah um, sure They keep talking about this unmasking. Wow. I don't understand how you could hear the, those sentences come out of someone's mouth and go like, oh, yes, this is a trustworthy, believable person. Yeah, really. I love how they're like, this is the one non-white person we're going to talk about. So we're going to make sure you know how non-white he is. Okay, so you want to tell me how much better the accountability is now? Are we going to talk about how you made it better? How good it is now? Please, I want to hear it. Tell me about all the accountability in the Trump administration. Please, regale me. <laughs> that man looks like a melting Keebler elf, and I feel <laughs> terrible saying that because I don't want to make fun of how anyone looks, but... This, this film is... Whew. Oh, the, the steel dossier? Is that what we're talking about right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Did they premise the investigation mm. on the... St I don't think I don't that think... was what... <laughs> I mean, and also a lot of people questioned the validity of the Steele dossier for a long time. Yeah, there, I don't think this was the thing that forced the investigation to go through. Ah, yes, the piss tape. Thank you oh. <laughs> for showing us. Glorious. Yes, Stephen Colbert, the voice of the FBI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But I also think that, like, if the intelligence community is supposed to be following up on everything that could be, I, I don't know. It's like, do you want people to follow up on things or do you not? Once again, the music has not stopped. I no. pity the person that had to score this thing for an hour and a half straight, Paris. Oh, I know. There is no dynamics to the mood whatsoever. You're just supposed to be constantly anxious. I don't know. I mean, the sealed dossier, yeah, I it's it's really hard to know how to feel about that, but 
I mean, I think if, you know, it, it was that and, and then other information that also corroborated it or was corroborated by it. Not everything in the steel dossier, don't get me wrong. There were a lot of things in there that were just proven fall or also, I don't think it was presented as these are all facts either. It was like, hey, this might be something you guys want to look into. Yeah. I wonder if that's true. There was three seconds there for dramatic effect of music yeah. cutting out there, Paris, so... I'll give him that. I don't see our room number in the steel dossier. <laughs> Unless it was some one of the redacted pieces of information. I don't see it. No, this guy is claiming that nothing was ever peed on in any Russian hotel. Uh, <laughs> I mean, like, just, em just embrace the Trumps into a little, you know, a little water sports. It's all right. Yeah, to be fair, that should... I don't think anyone was ever thinking that was going to be the thing that took Trump down because no. even if that had happened, like, fucking so what? Yeah, <laughs> I who guess. Cares? What? When they say went after, what did they actually accomplish with what is he talking about? Wow, that sounds really familiar. But we already know that that they didn't. Ha I don't know that they had to actually investigate that to find that out.
Like, they're making this seem like it's so sketchy, but the Republican National Committee has funded opposition research, as have plenty of other groups. It's not uncommon. Yeah, again, a lot of this is stuff where if you have never seen anything like this before, you're like, oh my god, there's a connection. Yeah. Put the political party right in the middle of your opponent. Please parse that sentence, Paris. Uh, do not know. Cannot compute. Lingo is dying. <laughs> I mean, again, if you j literally just search, uh, search RNC opposition research, you can see a ton of articles about all the opposition research at the Republican National Committee. You mean like and, privately, like private yes. companies that were funded by the RNC to do opposition research on the candidates that they are going up against? Yes. Um, and they're making, they're trying to say that it's like unprecedented that the government would use it. It's like, if the government gets wind of anything, of course they're going to use it. Like, why, what are they just going to turn down potential leads? Like, that's, no, of course not. That's a bad hat choice, Paris. I know that's not what we should be talking about here, but that's a bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a bad one. As a bald man, never go with that kind of hat. I'm sorry, no, it just does not. One. No. No, the Russians said they were going to. Because that's how they get people to do things, you see. The American government also lies to people about money they're going to give them. <laughs> you see? Sometimes they even give them money. Sometimes they give sometimes the US government gives really sketchy people money. <laughs> Oh, okay. Dark. We really hopped off that Michael Flynn thing where it was just like, hey, it was an unfair investigation because Michael Flynn's a patriot. Yeah. Why? Oh, I don't give a shit about Mike Cernovich. Fuck up. Yeah, he's a filmmaker. He's, he's not a legal scholar. Yeah, because that's foreign intelligence surveillance court. That's not regular court. You we have to bring idiot. in. The, they have to get a chance to defend themselves. But... Yeah. It... Yes. Thank you for. <laughs> thank you for explaining that. <laughs> The Magna Carta isn't a U.S. document, like <laughs> or your holy Christ. book of choice. The Magna Carta is from England. <laughs> yes, the Magna Carta is important in establishing due process rights, but it is not a document in U.S. law. Fucking hell! Wow, look at this graphic, Paris, that connects everything by oh. putting three squares together and then putting an outline around them. Holy shit. Oh, wow. Did, did someone just learn how to do basic animation?
insane. Oh, yeah. Yo, I got news for you. Spies are spying all the time. <laughs> that's that's what they do. That's what they do. Stop zooming in on Devin Nunez's <laughs> mouth for the love of God. Please. What is that shot? That was like a digital zoom why? too, Paris. It wasn't even. It was... I know. And like, why would you frame? I also have problems with the framing of these interviewees. Like there's not enough. Um clearance on the top and bottom it's like re it's like too short i mean that's that's a fine frame is it in the fbi manual is that what you got to do i don't think i trust a lot of these people they're in it really yeah, why don't you show me the FBI manual? Yeah, you just figured out how to animate things. Let's get an animation in. Let's get... New Fun Hamp. Masking. I love New Hamp. It's my favorite state. And New Hamp. The Hamp. Yeah, because they're oh, sketchy as fuck. Oh, thank God. <laughs> What's worse, a Trump child with or without a beard? Ah, uh, it's Alton. I love how these people are like, oh my God, some the American government was investigating me because I had connections to people who maybe did sketchy things. Like, the U.S. government investigates people all the time. As you can see from this graphic of my <laughs> poorly done connect the dots of art book that I created. Yes. Wait. I thought it was a three jump rule. I see. And after you do the three jumps, you can king that piece, and then <laughs> that spy can move all across the board in any direction. Yes, correct. <laughs> you see, what they did is they made four jumps, and they allowed the piece to move across and up and down the board. That's not how checkers works, viewer. Yes. That's in the checkers manual. Anyway... I'm not going to sit here and like say that this investigation these or say that these investigations were perfect. I'm sure they weren't like it sucks, but they're trying to say that um, that operational errors mean that it, like they're focusing on on maybe operational errors, which I don't even know occurred really, because like what do we know about FBI procedure? Um, and they're, they're like overshadowing the fact that sketchy things and also real crimes happened oh this fucking drum shut up look I know it's December but like the little drummer boy needs to move the fuck <laughs> on get out of here he's been in DC for hours he needs to stop But, like, didn't they determine that Carter Page didn't even do anything wrong? Yeah. So, like, who cares? <laughs> yeah, I feel like the investigation concluded in a way that almost got the result that these people wanted. So why are you out here crying about it? Yeah, I mean, they only charged a few people. It was, like, Papadopoulos, Manafort, Flynn, and some other, like, smaller fish for really little things because... 
as Mueller explained, the definitions for collusion and coordination are m- more strict <laughs> um, than than what they kind of found. You know what? I can I can actually a little bit get behind some of what they're saying here. Where like, oh, the media blew things up. I agree. To, I think I think the, yeah, yeah. I can get totally get behind that, but that's not what they're litigating here at all. They're not they're not talking about how information can be spread and sort of what's the word that I want to use here? Overblown, I guess. Again, yeah. Um, it it is unfortunate though that like um. I wonder if that's true. I guess they didn't, but like you would think that the FBI would have the power to be like, nah, but we got to look at those though. It's kind of weird that they didn't. Um,. I also think that this is an interesting smokescreen to uh, just be kind of floating in front of all of the actual crimes that Trump and his family have committed that are just not getting prosecuted probably ever. I mean, except for the state stuff. I don't, they're really focusing on the Russia investigation yes, and the are. Mueller thing here and as, as a way to say that like all investigations against the Trump family and Trump himself right. are going to be poisoned by partisan means, I suppose. Yeah, which I don't think is true um, just because, again, there's so many different lawsuits against Trump and investigations that have been... In many different jurisdic- jurisdictions yeah. and many different... That places have nothing with to many do, different institutions. Yeah, that has nothing to do with this. And I really feel like this is, again, putting the focus on the wrong things. Swamp creature. Swamp creature. <laughs> that's that's a hell of a hell of a line. Is this this is what Groshko? Is that his name? I forget. Gorka. Sebastian Gorka. Gorka. God.
Yeah, that's what they do in an in investigation. No, that's that's very normal. That, that's very normal. <laughs> yeah, you can uncover other crimes. Yeah, that's how... That's as how you're, it's, it's like... That's how investigations work. You know, if I'm investigating drug trafficking and I see a murder happen, it's not like I can't litigate the murder. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um... Everyone is going to die? Nunez I don't think it ever got that everyone? nutty. What? Well, no, it's just that, like, <laughs> uh, not every investigation is going to go perfectly, and it sucks. It happens to regular-ass people all the time. People get surveilled, and, hell, people even get accused of things that they didn't do because of that. But, again, isn't that the point of the investigation, is to check that out? Yeah. I don't I, think anyone went to jail for something they didn't do. Correct. In all of this. Very correct. No one went to jail for something they didn't do. To be fair, at this point, because I was pretty deeply following all this stuff, too. Yeah, you were. Around this was. point is where I was like, this is all stupid from all sides, yeah, actually. Yeah, things got really out of hand. I am impressed by whoever scored this documentary's this ability to music. constantly like shift instrumentation and still find something sneaky and anxious to do. I'm actually going to applaud I feel like, this person for their work. I feel like I'm in a slow rave. Like if this was sped up, your uh, listeners, you can't see my shitty dancing that I'm doing. I love how they keep they keep bringing the volume down. And then up again. Gotta have some dynamics oh. if the music is constantly going. Yeah, yeah. Who is this poor person that had to score this bullshit? We can look in the credits, Paris. Yeah, when they let's, come up. Let's... These aren't attacks. When the news is just reporting what you're saying and publishing, those aren't attacks. Mr. Patel. <laughs> oh, we got some silence. Excuse me? Oh! Silly pizzicato strings and clarinet. Finally, we've got a mood change here, Paris. Oh, it took an hour and a minute.
I mean, I guess now we're actually litigating the fact that the media, especially the 24-7 style media, is kind of bullshit. And I can kind of get on board with that yeah, when it's just same. people talking their op-ed opinions constantly. That's not necessarily useful reporting. Mm. But the articles where there was just reporting what Nunes said, yeah, that's not an attack. Fun fact, Cash Patel featured in this story. There he is. Um, he has filed a $50 million lawsuit against CNN uh, and several of its top reporters for defamation. Oh, Matt Gates. Uh. Have you ever seen that picture of him and Laura Loomer? It's like a weird face competition. <laughs> no, I have not. Like first and second place. Matt Gates looks like his eyebrows are running away from his hair. Yeah, he's also uncomfortably tan. Oh, I wish so. Unfortunately, because we've never watched this before, there was no way for us to do like research beforehand. So um, I really wish that oh, I wish that there was a way we could have because um, it would have been a lot easier to refute some of these things. But So are they they they're insinuating that Schiff lied about things? Yes. Okay. Oh, now we're just going to this is sad Devin Nunez in a <laughs> tree farm like He's a farmer, Paris. That's where he comes from. Yes. That that was his job before being a congressman. Yes. I mean, that's fine. Farmers are cool. Yeah. I like farmers. I don't think anyone said No, your said hoax. It. No, you thing. hoax. I don't know that anyone said that it was a hoax. I don't know that that's that doesn't make any sense if they already had that information they would just act on it they would just investigate it they don't they don't need the what the FBI doesn't rely on the Washington Post to help them create cases.
yeah, it doesn't really matter. The P tape was never part of the Mueller inv like There was a they, single footnote about it. We talked yeah, about it in our episode. <laughs> there we was were, like a single thing where they were like, yeah, we kind of looked at this for a second, but it doesn't, you know. It doesn't really matter, and we don't think it's real, so whatever. Yeah. Like, yeah. Huh, you're going to talk about dealing a good faith? That's funny. What are they talking about? Are they talking about the dossier or the Mueller report? The DNC emails that were hacked. Ah. I mean, those are a lot of fucking emails. I don't think a lot of regular people want to read thousands of emails. I mean, they could. You could get access to them. Plenty of plenty of news organizations publish opinions. Actually, we'll, we can talk about that Washington Post op opinion piece recently where some unhinged lunatic uh, tried to say that Jill Biden couldn't call herself a doctor because she received her doctorate, I don't know, too recently during a time when school was easy and she doesn't have a medical degree. And also, she's a woman, so fuck her, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, and now you as have people like Ben Shapiro jumping in on that. Wait, he, yeah. Ben Shapiro made a tweet that was like, you'd be very disappointed if you had a stroke on a plane and that someone who said they were a doctor earlier turns out they were a doctor of musicology. It's like, wow. well, no, you should Talk just about... know that doctor is a title that is not medical exclusively. Yeah, and also, like, what? I don't understand. Like, if you get on a plane and have a stroke... Why would you assume that there was a medical doctor on board? And also, why would you assume that someone you that was introduced to you as doctor something was a medical doctor? It's not like they were like, oh, yeah, I performed open heart surgery once. And then you're like, I'm dying. And they're like, oh, but I'm a musicologist. Like, I don't. That is not a good argument. That's not a sound yeah, argument. Yeah, if someone says they're a doctor, I assume, okay, so you have some kind of higher education thing. I don't yeah, you jump have to medical. You have a PhD. That's what that means. Could be in a lot of different things. Or you could be, you know, an MD, too. Right, it could be both, but I you just don't jump to one. Yeah, I mean, you could have you could have a a, a dent a DMD, which is a dental medical degree. You could have a doctorate of philosophy and a lot of things. You could have a oh man, you could be a postdoc. I don't know. You could have all kinds of fucking shit. I don't know. I've seen a lot of Americans that seem to have very Nazi-like opinions. 
Yep. I sure wouldn't do. say all 62 million of those vote, votes were in that fashion for that reason, but there's an awful lot of people out there that are comfortable with some fascist moves that have been made recently. Yeah, including Michael Flynn, who's like, use the military to redo the election. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the whole Nazi thing isn't exclusively about the Holocaust part of it. There was a whole other con- part of that. <laughs> yeah, a whole, a whole lot of other parts. Scary. Oh, yeah, Roger Stone, a person who also committed fucking crimes. <laughs> so many crimes that, like, we don't even know about, too. Yes, that this is what happens. Um, the FBI didn't arrest you for CNN, my dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't it fun how news organizations have contacts and know that arrests will happen? So they're there. Okay, dude, but if they found crimes that they could arrest you for... But there were crimes. Let me just type Roger Stone crimes into Google, and uh, let, me, let me just tell you. Oh, oh, the typing. Oh, wait, it's not typing. I thought that was a typing sound. It is a typewriter sound. Oh, if you lie and it wasn't tied to something else, apparently it's just not a crime anymore. That's fun. Um, He was charged with witness tampering, obstructing an official proceeding, and making false statements to Congress. He was charged with uh, 40 months in federal prison, but was, of course, commuted by Trump. So... Nah, you'd like to think that, wouldn't you, Junior, but... Yeah, your dad doesn't like you, dude. I hate to tell you, but he doesn't give a shit about any of you. I think he likes the vodka. That's about it. Sorry, Don. Junior, you don't have boobs. Sorry, dad wouldn't fuck you on an alternate timeline, so he doesn't give a shit about you. That's how it works. Again, they're not targeting you because of who your father is. They're targeting you for crimes, <laughs> for potentially committing crimes and then actually committing crimes. Oh, no, he's a dad. Being a dad doesn't mean you can't be. <laughs> you can't be investigated if you're a dad, Paris. <sighs> That's why people have children is to so that you can't investigate them. How much money do you think Donald Trump Jr. was siphoning from the government during the taping of this?
Wait, what? Excuse me? Did he did he do anything though? Hang on. I think I remember them talking about thre threatening his son, but I don't remember why. Okay, well, that's, that's, uh, that's interesting. Do you, how do you know that? Why should I take I mean, your word yeah, for it? Yeah, that sounds Cindy. like a pretty serious thing. Also, this like jacket, this like fucking. Oh yeah, I mean she's yeah, it's not not for me. She's dressed in like late eighties, early nineties, like leather style. plate armor. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, if only all of you would uh listen to that that piece of wise advice. That's what you're doing right now yeah, with the, like the election <laughs> thing, guys. You just keep saying there's evidence. Look yeah, at the okay. evidence, trust me. I mean, if you really have evidence that they edited that overnight and added things, like, why wouldn't you just include images of that in the documentary? Like, they included an image, but it was just one version. Like, I don't know what the other versions looked like. Isn't that what, but wait, you had a yeah. problem with the whole investigation that happened before where they were just. So you, what? So you, okay. So, yeah. All right. They so want, investigation they... is good if it's against my political opponents. Yes. They want other people investigated. <sighs> I, I don't think it's the most damning Inspector General report in the history of the United States. <laughs> I mean, that's what the Mueller report concluded. So yeah, I yeah, I don't think anyone's no one's like still falling on this sword. No. Oh, oh, oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Are you saying that 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 there was a, a plot to take over a, a duly elected president for your own personal gain? Uh, this just in: you <laughs> assholes are literally doing that right now. <laughs> Wait. So their problem here is that an investigation was done. And then they themselves are saying, oh, that investigation found that that didn't happen. So what's the problem? They're mad that they investigated it anyway. Because they think that there wasn't sufficient evidence to start an investigation. Even though I think it's clear that there... I mean, evidence doesn't... Again, 
evidence doesn't that's have to be like that's why we do the investigation gun. yes <laughs> they're mad about that oh man i just started looking up trump uh donald trump jr crimes and some of them are hilariously stupid in 2019, Donald Trump Jr. spent $76,859.36 in taxpayer money for Secret Service protection on a trip with an RNC donor to Mongolia to hunt an endangered sheep that he did not have a permit to kill. That sentence really goes on. Um, after they killed it, Trump met with the Mongolian president to retroactively get a permit to hunt the sheep that had already been killed. What a dumb thing to waste money on. Also, why do I care what Kimberly Guilfoyle has to say about this, Paris? Yeah, she's not. Uh, there are a lot of people in this documentary that just don't have anything to do with this. Like, Kimberly Guilfoyle is just Don Trump's, John Trump Jr.'s wife, right? Yeah. No, like girlfriend. Not girlfriend. even. Girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, seems who like is, you have pretty shit judgment. Who bro. is that man again? I forgot his name. I don't know. His name flashed by earlier, and I he was so stupid looking, and I hated him immediately <laughs> that I didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This investigation divided Wait, the country. Wh what? Yeah, not Trump. What violence did the Mueller report inspire? Yeah. I are you like talking about the fucking George Flynn riots? I also George love Floyd. I'm sorry, George yeah. Floyd riots. Um, I don't think anyone was framed for a crime. No one was framed for a crime they didn't commit. In At no point in this documentary did they say Roger Stone didn't do this thing. Yeah, or or this person. Didn't Here is do the this proof thing. that Roger Stone didn't do this. Here is the proof that Michael Flynn didn't do. Yeah, and because they were they were sent away for lying, for the yeah. most part. It was mostly the lying. Uh... Yeah, isn't it funny how all of this just applies to them? <laughs> it's like... I don't know. If you've been paying attention, you would you should have known a long time ago that that country never existed. <laughs> a human being. Chris, is that what you are? You're a human being? Yes. Because you are fueled by Yume, Wokatari? Yeah, exactly. Like, this idea of unbiased coverage to Paris, we should not be demanding, like, you should be training people to think critically, not demand, on like, a completely devoid of... What were we not supposed to know? <laughs> yeah. I could you, could you please tell me who, who they are? Andrew McCabe, I'm assuming is one of those ass yeah. assumed people. That man looks like a uh, Beavis. That man is Beavis. 
Is it Beavis or Butthead? Which one? Beavis. Yeah, he looks like Beavis. Wow, that's what Beavis looks like now. You'll never believe what Beavis looks like now. <laughs> He's a U.S. congressman or whatever. Does, does Devin Nunez really have uh, unfathomable moral courage? Is that really what we're saying here? Just hearing all these people who support Donald Trump talk about honor and courage and truth is just I don't, Yeah, difficult. why would you... Why Trump? Why do all this for Trump? Because I don't know, man. I don't know. Because, like, he's not even going to be president anymore. Like, I don't understand. What do they think he's going to do for them afterward? All right. We made it through. All right. We got to look for who did the music oh, here. Oh, fuck me. Which is still going, of course. Um, We got a lot of associate producers, director of photography. There he is. Stephen Limbaugh. I wonder if Steven he's Limbaugh. related to Rush. Oh, is he Rush's, like, nephew or something? By an additional music by Iggy Schnellmore. Schnellmore. You guys have done oh. too much work for this. I I'm, yeah. I'm, I get the feeling that they were just like more music, and they were like, "Wait, more? No, more? I want more. <laughs> I only have so many sound libraries. I'm gonna run out." Don't okay, have, just do have, five minutes of pizzicato strings and silly clarinet. That'll break it up a little bit. Do you have more notes? No, there are only so many notes audible <laughs> to a human ear. I mean, if you want us to do, like, a quarter note scale, we can, but it's not going to be what you think. Special thanks, Michael Flynn, friends of our flag. The Fallen. Wow, they've gotten help from an anime demon, Paris. <laughs> In memory of Damon Nelson? Who the hell is that? Someone that someone on the production team knew, I'm, I'm sure. Why is the music so loud during the credits? Oh, God. <laughs> President Donald J. Trump's official Twitter account. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. U.S. presidential inauguration what? Uh, I, I don't know what that would do with anything. And Black Zimbio. Magic. Thanks, Zimbio. Black Magic Design. Sony. I think Black Magic Design is the maker of Da Vinci Resolve, the video editor program that I now use oh. for. So I think we know 2020 what. 2020 <laughs> Pat Finance One LLC. That's a weird. Oh, plot against President Finance One LLC. That's that's who made this. Okay. All right, everybody, we survived. Oh. There's still technically. I don't know if I had anything great this. to say during all that besides you. Yeah. You're, 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 it's a little difficult when, again, it's like if you've never seen a film before, how are you supposed to do research on it? So, I don't, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe if I find out some extra stuff, we can splice it in there. But I, yeah, sorry if that was a little boring. Martin, I hope this was fun. Yeah, honestly, I feel like we're way. doing this specifically for him because I would not encourage anyone to watch something like this. No. No matter, like, no matter what side it was coming like, if there was a liberal version of this... Yeah, I, I wouldn't would, watch. I wouldn't watch that either. You know, very just... unsourced. There's only two shadow people that are giving testimonies that are uncorroborated. I mean, yeah, some people were were also giving, like the lawyer there was was saying some things. But again, it was, you know, if you're not providing us with the doc, like instead of just zooming in on like one paragraph of that um, of that FBI document why didn't they just have them side by side and show a change but even then showing a change doesn't necessarily mean that anything was it's because added. Cindy Powell just makes shit up Paris that's why I don't actually is she a notorious maker upper I mean if you've been following the election lawsuits <laughs> recently then oh, you would know oh fuck I didn't even that's that her Paris that that's her oh no the one that the Trump campaign, that, that the Trump, like, Rudy kicked her off of the election lawsuits for a bit. Yeah, and then she she's the Kraken releaser, Paris. Oh, I completely forgot about this lady. Yeah, this she's, lady's she's the Kraken stuff. lawsuit person that has, oh. you know, in by which every tentacle has been slapped down roundly. So. Yeah, really. Rip Kraken. All right. All right. But, well, thanks for joining us, patrons. Yeah. 
thank you for uh, thank you for joining us for the plot against the president. Uh, thank you to Martin for being a patron and for recommending this. Um, you know the drill. You know where to find us. You can reach us at terriblebookclub at gmail dot com. You can send us a message on Twitter, Goodreads, Facebook, or Instagram. Um, tell people about the show. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I... Paris up next in my YouTube recommendations: Amazon Empire: The Rise and Reign of Jeff Bezos. It's a two-hour documentary that I w- never want to watch. No, holy why shit! Would, why would it? That's also what all, that also tried to autoplay after my video was over, and I was like, "Please no, please God no." All right, well, goodbye, well, everybody. Ha- happy holidays, folks. Uh, we'll see you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.